Hi, welcome back to the fifth. Probably like the seventh. Like I don't the know. Seventh episode or something. I we don't know. Got to deal with all this stuff. Hello, welcome back to Carriage. Oh, no. My first job is done, mother. <laughs> that's that's it to make breakfast for all the boarders. That's God, nice. please tell me we get to play a cooking mama esque board game. Posh munch, girl. munch. That's some good eating. You'll notice I have to keep reminding Louie of who's Howie, playing. you're good at cooking. Can I have some rice? R more, rice more? <sighs> I feel like just doing his voice in my normal voice. No. Uh, sure, a bigger ball, all right? You know it. I'm pretty confident in my cooking. He's like normal in his head, then he's Italian. <laughs> it's so cool. Until recently. I was living with my father, who was ordered to transfer to the country. Every yeah, day, like I he was ordered to transfer house. back to Italy. He was ordered, yeah, from Japan. Yeah. Uh, I was in charge of preparing the meals, and it's not like I hated cooking or anything. That's one of the reasons why I accepted the job as dorm mother. But some of the others don't need a breakfast, huh? Since just now, no one had come into the dining hall. Sometimes there would be somebody walking through the hallway in front. They seemed to be sneaking around. Hmm. Oh, potatoes. Oh, this long-haired girl. Oh, uh, that's you. Uh, Kanako looked towards the hallway just as the oldest board in Yuka. Yuka, remember that? Yeah. Right, Yuka, um, long-haired girl, Torgan, was yeah. peeking in before swiftly dashing off. Jeez, they're all so naive. They still haven't gotten used to boys. Well, they will. Don't you worry. <laughs> Uh, but the Khufu is a good, a co-ed school, all right? <laughs> Even if you go to the same school, you won't see them with their bed heads and faces without makeup. I see. It seems she's got her makeup on, though. Well, you don't know. She's just an anime character. Oh, yeah. She probably does. She probably doesn't. It seems that a guy being the... <laughs> it seems that a guy being the dorm mother of a girl's dormitory will have problems after all. You knew it would have problems. You were panicking about this yesterday. It would have the problem. <laughs> there is a reason why I accepted the job as dorm mother at Flying Fish Manor. Not long ago, the, o the owner janitor collapsed. It sounded like she's pretty old, and, <laughs> and as well as straining her back, she caught a summer cold which became aggravated. The owner soon began looking for a replacement, but it was hard to find one. Then she sought help from the rep. <laughs> Then she sought help from the real estate company where my mother works. This is one of the properties my mother manages, and is an old acquaintance of the owner from decades ago. She nominated me decades for this job. Decades ago, she's pretty old. Then. She's pretty old. Well, my mom, of course. She's yeah. a kid. She nominated me for this job because she thought I was planning to come back here. On the documents, my mom said one of the responsibilities of this place. My mom is one of. Let me try that again. <clears throat> you don't actually have to edit any of this out, by the way. Just throw them on there. Mm -hmm. On the documents, my mom is one of the respons. <laughs> my mom is one of the res responsible. Sorry, my mom is the one responsible oh. in this place, but she got me to carry out the practical duties. In other words, the work of a dorm mother. Then, the condition. Be <laughs> then that became the condition for me coming back to this town. I'm gonna stop doing that now because I do it every one. It's so annoying. <laughs> As always, she's very crafty, but I wasn't really against the idea. So I accepted it because I'm gonna get all that porcelain baby. It's because he wants to get his his duck inside everyone. I hope he does. Dude. Hang on. <clears throat> if I'd have known it was a girl's a dormitory, of course I would have refused. No, we're not. Nah, I wouldn't have. <laughs> this place is old, a little far from school, but, it, but the rent is cheap. Apart from the food and admin expenses, it costs next to nothing. That's why it would have been a big problem for me if I couldn't stay here. There's some creepy, like, creeper staring at that. Look, it's actually a creeper. Oh, I don't know. And in the worst case scenario, <laughs> the boarders wouldn't have been able to go to school. So for now, it seems that everyone has accepted a guy as the dorm mother. Oh, oh that's Thanks. cute. Thanks for the meal. Woo, that was good. Kanako stacked up the dishes on the counter, oh, licked her lips in satisfaction. Everyone will get used to you soon. Well then, I'm off now. I think she's the first one you should do. I feel like wheelchair girl is, because I feel like she's definitely, uh, yeah. like, she's definitely, she's definitely the main storyline. She'll probably be the hardest to get, though. She'll be the main storyline, I reckon. I don't know, we haven't even been given any options. Yeah, it's... 
She had eaten it all. Not even a single grain of rice was left. <sighs> I'm so happy people enjoy the joy of my cooking and my spicy meatball. It feels pretty good. <laughs> well, he is Italian, so he'd be good at cooking like pizza and stuff. I feel deeply relieved. I feel. Maybe like taking the underrated thing was a bad choice by me, anyway. <laughs> I'm happy that things are going well. Oh, jeez, I better get ready for the school. It's, it's owie. And you're. <laughs> In the entrance to the dormitory, there was Katori. Kotori, I think. She was dressed in her Kotori, uniform, yeah. and she looked like she was going to school. Good morning, Kotori. Morning. Are you going to a school? Shall we go together? Huh? Why do you want to do that? Question uh, mark. Why, woman? If you're worried about my leg, then there's no need. Huh? Oh, God, this is she put it bluntly as she quickly went out. Wait, she put it bluntly as she quickly went out of the front door. Huh. I don't have any friends at school. So I'm just to ask you. Oh, he has no friends. It's because he's Italian. Nobody, <laughs> nobody <knows> Italian. <laughs> We're going to look at like our statistics now. The one person that's watching this video will be Italian. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, it looked like we had a strange misunderstanding. Can I walk to school with long, uh, with long hair, girl? Because I like her voice. What about Katori? Nah, fuck it, really. Where in my new uniform? I'm making my way to I school. I want to see him. Wait, who? You. you. See him? Oh, you want to see him? In his uniform. Should have a look at me. Today's first day of my new school. I'm not really the shy type, but I guess I'm kind of nervous. I would say that the school I was going to before was a... Sorry. <laughs> it was a sports-focused all-boys school. Uh, Kaifu? Kaifu Academy. The school I'll be going to now is an engineering school and a co-ed. The school's traditions are quite different too. As I walk the streets that lead As up to I the school. As I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I take a look at myself. Realise I'm not a... You done? I don't know. You done? Sure. Yeah, cool. <laughs> there are more and more groups of people wearing the same uniform. This is the same area I lived for years ago. There should be a few people that I know, but most of the people who I'd recognise went on to regular school. I wonder if the ones who choose to go to Kefu Academy remember me. Even if I only remember one person, it would make a big difference. There'll be more weird misunderstandings with Miss Allure today. Oh yeah! At which school do I, I, I guess? I guess. And the others go. Ooh, oh god. That was a weird transition. God, I thought it was like. <laughs> I thought there was something wrong. Yeah. I thought your computer just crashed. <laughs> uh, uh, they're my childhood friends. I always played with them when I was a kid. There's a gay ha. That's what we're calling him. <laughs> a gay There's a gay ha. Mabona. <laughs> Mabo. No. A gay ha Mabo. Hitoru. And Anchan. Hit Hitler 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 a lot of things happen, or maybe I'm just too lazy. But I haven't told anyone apart from Annie Chan that I'm coming back. To be honest, I'm not even sure how I should be if I met them. Oh god. god I need to stop doing that. That's not a very good memories thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna kill your the eyes. The are like, a gay, huh? I probably smashed my face in. She'd say, oh, why didn't you have gone and thanked me? Wait, like, a gay has a girl? Yeah. I bet they're all going to be girls. Oh God, if everybody's a girl in this, I'm going to flip. Ah! <laughs> God, I'm about to hear that voice. <laughs> and she looked and acted like a real town boy. Do you want me to do that in my regular voice? Yeah. I remembered the past. It makes me smile, but... Uh, who is it? Um, hey! Well, we don't know yet. Uh, it might be a gay heart. Huh? At the point where Tower Street was leading to Ooh. the school, there was a girl wearing a Kefu uniform. The other girls that she was walking with to school asked, What's up? They seemed puzzled as they spoke to her. However, it seemed that the girl can't hear them. She's staring over here at me. 
Just faintly, her eyes seemed full of surprise. Uh, she's a pretty cute! He but just says that. Like, I bet he just friend. says that out loud. He's like looking at her. She's a pretty cute! <laughs> she looks he turns his back for a second. He goes, she's a pretty cute! Turns back. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's it for the end of uh, how many episodes this is. Boys. Boys.